Hello, and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and as you can see, we are back in the Magnus Meyer World Seed. And I'm going to do a real quick uh, another starting base, and then I'm going to do a second video on the second day and what we need to do on the second day. So I am going to need seeds for the second day video, so I'm going to go ahead and gather them while I'm Um, one of the initial starting bases that you can do is to uh, scout around while you're gathering resources and find a cave that is not connected to like a cavern or any underground system and to uh, build up the front of it to make your own base there. That way you don't have to worry about it. You still have the flaws that if you don't stay far enough back into the the cave <laughs> the chickens like the, the seeds I have in my hand if you don't stay far enough back in the cave the the monsters will still sense you unlike the uh, base we built up in the sky where they they can't really sense you from the ground because you're too far up Get us some food real quick too. And as I said before, there are plenty of chickens around here, so don't worry about killing all these chickens. There are plenty of them. make us a pick. And an axe. <coughs> um, any feathers you get off the chickens you want to save because you can make them into arrows. With some plants, some sticks. Up, put them in a chest somewhere until you get the flint for them. Um, we will not be able to find sheep on our first night because it's it's not far away, but it, we're not going to have the time to go over there and get the sheep today. So we're going to run over there and get the sheep to Now, as before, you don't want to gather too many resources. Just 12 to 16 logs is fine. And we know that there's some coal in that cave that I'm going for. So, we will gather some seeds and wait for these trees to fall down. See if we can see the And make sure... Okay. Just my son turn it back on. We have a lake here, and usually we would build a the second day. We would build a farm around the lake, but I know there's some iron in there. So we're gonna find that iron and probably make a bucket for our next video.
some seeds. Go check on them trees, and then we'll go in here. <coughs> There's a cave right there, right there too, but it's connected to a cavern underneath there. And we got some more saplings, but I don't see no more apples. We didn't break these. Let's go get some stone and probably have to clear out this little cave. Let me turn the volume down to gets a little loud in the playbacks. There we go. And as I thought. <laughs> Now, as long as we're in here, they won't spawn in here, so we're just a little safe. We want to go ahead and get a couple pieces of coal and put some torches down as fast as possible. Side, light it up a little bit. Now, you, if you, the more you put torches on the outside, the less likely that the monsters are going to spawn close enough to sense you. So, don't worry about using a lot of torches out here. And the more torches, the farther away you'll be able to see this light over here if you get lost. Um, and as promised, there is iron right here, three pieces, enough for a bucket. I think there's a little bit more. take this pillar out of the middle because it's annoying. Now I don't like to save my tools, some people do, but like I'm going to go ahead and use this whole entire wooden pick before I make my next set of tools. And then I'll, I'll, I'll probably burn the uh, axe and the sword in the uh, furnace when we make it. After I get the, ne the next video done, uh, sometime probably this week or next week, I'll be posting one for the desert too. We'll, we'll go over the special stuff you can do in the desert. Now, now that I'm making it three blocks long, the monsters can't spawn down here, so if we're away, we want to put a couple of torches down here make sure that doesn't happen.
to start our spot right here, so put that down. Go ahead and make us a furnace. We need a shovel to sword in there and then we'll add some coal um if you are hungry and you can't find anything else and you have killed zombies you will get this thing called rotten flesh which I have in my hand now and you can't eat this um two things if you do eat this there's a chance it will cause you to uh get hungry faster and this effect only works if you move around or start using stuff. So if you find you a spot where you won't have to move for a little while, and then just eat it. And, and there's the effect. And I'll bring up the menu, and it says hunger. And and if you jump or use your tools or anything for this amount of time, it'll take your hunger bar down faster. But there, there's less likely of a chance of it going down faster if you don't move anywhere. Oh wait, we're going to try to build up this entrance here. There we go. And this is pretty much how this works. Um, we'll need some more. And we finished it just in time. Now I'll let this hole here. Um, we can get a door later. The zombies can't get through here though. They can break through. A wall. And we can reach this guy through the window. Skeletons can shoot through that window too, so to be careful.
and it's less than eight, so we don't want to use our coal. We can put the bed here when we get it. And let's dig this out because. It will drive people nuts. Um, I also plan on doing a Feed the Beast series um, sometime. I don't want to start it real soon, though, so I'll get back to you on that one. some light up here. that's going to pretty much do it for tonight. Um, we can clear out this floor a little bit more and fancy this place up, but for now that's all you really need to do. And we'll wait until morning and then I'll start the video in the morning. So this is Magsy and I'll see you on the next episode.